So super excited to have gotten this in the mail today. It's a original sealed booster box from the Killer Instinct uh, trading card game that uh, Nintendo and Topps put out uh, for Killer Instinct 1. The art's super cheesy and cool. You can see that they use some of the uh, art from the game, uh, uh, the marketing art, and then they've also used some of the comic art. Um, I think this was one of the uh, old comic covers for Killer Instinct. All right. And I love how these used to look in the, uh, you know, the comic shops back in the day. You'd have your little box with that pop open tab and you'd go and grab your boosters. Let's see how many we got in here. So looks like we got 24 booster packs here. All right, let's see how many. Oh, it looks like it's got 12 cards in each booster as well. So that's plenty to make a couple of new decks out of. I also have one of these starter decks that they used to sell back in the day. They had a uh, spinal cover variant and a um, Fulgore variant, and I don't know if the two decks were different or not. Um, I've only got the spinal one. But essentially that has the manual in it, because it looks like this did not come with a manual. It did come with the little ticket number, though. And a piece of foam in the base. I'll probably take the foam out when I display it. But let's uh, open these up and see what we've got. Also, don't think that these uh, old old cards had a rarity rating, so no idea how to gauge quality here. You can see the little Nintendo logo on the back. This is from 1996, so what's strange is there's literally, you know, no numbering uh, of, of the cards, so you don't know, you know, what, what number in the set you've got. There's no rarity marker at all, so you don't know if it's a rare, particularly good card. And here you can see these little blood markers that determines if your card, your your move is gonna get hit. 
And then here you can see that little death marker. Um, I'm not sure what that means in terms of quantity of damage or if the person instant kills, but here this one is a two. So if the, your two lines up with the opponent's blood, which here it does, your opponent would take two damage in that scenario. It's actually a pretty cool, cool little game. Yeah, Mrs. Office Arcade's a fan of board games, so I thought this would be a fun fun way to combine our board game interest with a little bit of my fighting game interest. The wrapper itself is pretty cool too. It's a bunch of nice little holographic KI logos on it. Apparently there were 350 cards in this game as well. So I'm not anticipating getting too many duplicates. And the game mechanics are pretty interesting too. There's no like concept of like resource spending you basically kind of like build your combatant and their attack skills and you just keep battling with the opponent to see who each who wins each round and each character has 28 health so whoever kills their opponent that round you know, wins wins that round overall. I can't remember exactly, I'll have to double check the rules, but I think if you win three matches, you win the, the card game, but I'm not 100% not sure on that.
Man, I've, I've enjoyed opening booster boxes since the Magic days. It just feels so fun to... Even, even when it's a game I, I don't fully know, like this one, it's still awesome. I really like the Glacius in this game, so I'll probably build my deck around Glacius. And then, you know, Fulgore, Spinal, so many cool characters in the Killer Instinct series, but Glacius was always kind of my favorite, because at that time when Killer Instinct was big, Spawn was also big, and Glacius kind of looked like Spawn. Like, I'm pretty sure the artist was definitely heavily inspired by uh, by Spawn when he was making Glacius. You basically build your character attacks around special moves. Let's see if we get one in here. Yeah, so this special move here is for Orchid. So I can combine a bunch any uh, basic moves I want uh, that are non-character specific with any additional Orchid moves to build an Orchid deck, like a mini Orchid deck that's at least seven uh, cards big. So that would be for Orchid. This one would be for Jago. So I couldn't mix Jago and Orchid cards together. But then this is a basic move. So even though it's got Thunder and Spinal on it, I can use it with any character. Some of these cards look really cool. Like I love this one, Jago's or uh, uh, Fulgore's DP. I am seeing a couple duplicates, so I know with this many cards, that's it's not impossible. But I do wonder if there was some sort of a rarity scale at all, or if it's just completely random. And yeah, I think that all of this, this card game from Nintendo predates Pokemon, which is kind of funny, because I wonder how much of the initial card game designs kind of inspired Nintendo's future trading card games. about two-thirds through the stack now. Sadly, I wish I could just keep opening boosters forever.
a lot of these just look so whack though. Like look at this old art. I remember just being so blown away by it. We are on the home stretch here. Looks like they might have even used some of the Super Nintendo art, which is kind of surprising. I think just for print quality, they would have gone with all arcade art. This one, you can tell it's the arcade because it's got a pretty detailed background. Got a few of these jumping retreats with spinal on it. I mean, a lot of orchid in that one. All right, and here's our last booster. Let's see what kind of goodies we get. We got that cool Saber Wolf card and that cool uh, Riptor and Jago. I'd love to get maybe Fulgor or who else is missing that I listed there? Glacius, Cinder. Does not look like we're going to get any of them though. All right. So that is it for this Killer Instinct Booster Box unboxing.